Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. Welcome to my sustainable teaching blog. This is my video, and let me explain myself for a second. This is my video about using Screencastify, which is a Google Chrome extension uh, on your Chromebook, but you can use it on any device that uses the Google Chrome browser. It's a great way for capturing yourself and whatever you want uh, through screencasting and put it on video, put it on YouTube. What I use it for mostly is video lesson recap. So I'll walk you through that. So Screencastify, that's my uh, camera on the Google Chrome. There's my uh, shelf. I like to auto hide the shelf. Typically when I do a lesson recap, I put myself here, as you see, and I don't like doing that because it brings up this little red thing, but okay. Um, and I bring up my slides from the lesson. Now you can bring up anything. Uh, it's, just, it's just your monitor that's gonna be shown. So you can bring up anything at all I like to take slides and make them into PDFs. I put my face on there because the person who or introduced me to the idea of the video lesson recap, Chris Aviles, mentioned that apparently scientifically it's been shown that the when your face is there, it, the students learn a lot better as opposed to simply the disembodied voice. So I go through, I make a, a video recap, I put it on YouTube. I use Screencastify to do that and I'm gonna walk you through that in a minute. For my students, it comes out like this. On Google Classroom, there's the notes. I use guided notes. My colleague, Jessica Riley, I'll put a link to her in the, in the about uh, on Google Classroom, on um, YouTube, excuse me. She makes these Google notes, uh, these um, guided note sheets. They're really great. They're nice and organized. You don't have to worry about kids' handwriting. You don't have to worry about kids making a big clump. She's organized everything. And I make it an assignment, so I see what the kids took as notes. I keep them accountable that way. After the lesson, oh, you were absent. Oh, you had to go to the nurse. Oh, this or that. Great. You'll make it up because I put the video right there. So the absent student, they don't email you. They don't do anything. They just go to Google Classroom and they catch up that way. All right. So Screencastify, let me talk to you about that for a second. It's an extension. It's through the Google, uh, Google Chrome store. If you Google it, uh, Screencastify, you will find it and you install it. It will put this little film strip piece here, which you see a better picture of it lower on the blog. Um, this is it recording right now. Notice it has that. And if I click on it, it should bring up, yes, recording. And it's talking about that and it gives me the option to pause or stop. Um, when I'm done, it will look like, oh, I thought I had, I thought I had it up. Oh, well, um, it will basically, what it will do is it will do this. It will create, when you install Screencastify, it will give you the option to save everything to Google Drive. You want to do it. This is my work Google Drive. It creates this folder called Screencastify. Earlier today, I made a couple test runs for this video, and they're right there. And notice here's some other recaps I've done, okay? They're right there. The file sizes are great. Let me control minus to just so, so you see this. I would say I'd put it at about 10 to 20 megabytes per minute. You don't want to make a, a video lesson recap that's much more than, say, nine, seven, nine, ten minutes. If you're going any more than that, the, the students are going to they're going to zone out. So at about 10 to 20 a minute, if you say it's at 15, that'd be 150 megabytes for uh, for a 10 minute video. That's not bad. And then if you upload it to YouTube or if you have the students watch it, you're you're having the bandwidth be nice and low. Um, and again, it's this right here. Um, it's the extension, and you can read all about how I use it in the blog below. Uh, I'm Tom Mullaney. I have the sustainable teaching blog at TomMullaney.com. Just hit me up on Twitter at TMullaney23. I'd love to talk to you about this screencasting, screencastify, video lesson recaps. It really has changed my practice and improved it for me and the students alike. Thank you.